Hey folks, welcome back. I'm a rough pebble and I'm playing some more Anbinar, a total conversion mod for Europa Universalis 4. And we are picking up with the Dwarven Empire of Ernatvir. Uh, we are currently getting attacked in our colonies, but that's not a huge problem for us. We're quickly able to put down those and squash those rebellions. We are now also going to be going to war. Um, so let's go ahead and get that organized here. So, um, we'll want to do, and we have already cored, uh, Mithradhum, which is one of our Mithril producers. Um, we can go ahead and convert, send a missionary. It's going to cost us 367 a month to convert this, but I think that's totally worth it. So let's go ahead and go with that. Um... We'll convert this province as well as soon as we can. Um, okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and declare war here. Send an insult, first of all. And then declare... We are... They are our rivals as well, yeah? Yes, okay. Um, let's go ahead and go declare war. Um, we're gonna take... The Halls of the Ancestors. Certainly. Um, and, and with that in mind, we may even want to... Well... Mm-hmm. Oh, we don't have any... Um, wait, why? Oh, we re sent a diplomat recently. Okay. <clears throat> And we can core this last one here. Cool. Got a little the teensiest bit of corruption, but not for much longer here. <clears throat> this is going down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven a year. I see. Uh, we are currently also digging out Ernatvir. Uh, the hold of Ernatvir, uh, it is currently a level 1 surface hold, and we're working to dig it out to a level 2. This one is still a level 1 dig uh, hold as well. Can we, if we go to decisions, we can... Hmm, no, we can't dig that. We could send an expedition, but right now we're going to use our troops to go to war. Alright, declare war. They only have 6,000 troops right now. Let's go just stomp all over them right here. Okay. Yes, let's take this down quickly. Um, we can detach this and come over here. Let's build one of you here. It may cost us a little bit, but that's okay. Let's get you over this way. Speed up time a little bit. Okay, uh, they're pushing back this way. Um, we can quickly cancel this. We can... Goblin refugees from Mithril Arm Cartel. Goblins fleeing pro persecution from Mithril Arm Cartel have begun to amass our borders, seeking refuge in a new home. Um, add goblin, confiscate their valuables, no, uh, hopefully we gain the 50 production, 50%, yes, nice, okay, um, and then we can bring
one here. Put you in. And you march here. You're going to get... This leader here. Okay, that's fine. Let's start marching this way. And we can give you um, this guy right here. you march this way a little bit more quickly. Alright. They're leaving again. They cannot make up their mind. In the meantime, we'll be able to take this and then move into their capital. Okay. And we're at almost 10% conversion here, so that's great. Keep moving you over this way. All right. Okay. All right. We're at fourteen percent here. Let's see what it, let's see what they opt to do here. They may try to come push this, and it looks like they might be. Yes. That's good. Yep, they've changed their minds. And this will fall soon. Okay, there's not much you can do about that. Alright, we've almost finished coring this. Alright, let's push you this way then. And we can invest into this or wait to get this tech. Let's wait to get the tech. I think that's going to be good. All right. Okay. Um, let's get you over here. Let's move all of our troops over this way. Um, yeah. We could get one more leader here. And I'm going to. Alright, you need that. Merchants suffering. Our focus on mercantilism is making life hard for our merchants who trade in foreign places. Give them some support with diplomatic power here. I'm glad we put a commander in charge there. Alright. They're gonna come over here. This is good. This is fine. Okay. Um, if we can get here fast enough. And then get everybody under the same banner. Okay. As soon as we can. We'll go attack them. Alright. Um, quick. Diplomatic insult. A careless turn of phrase by Grand Mayor Thargus Thunderax has greatly offended Mithrilarm Cartel. Um, try to ease the tensions. No. Yes, that's fine by us. Alright. 
and then go to battle. Um, make sure we've got you, yeah. So you are... We'll take... We'll just take you here, that's fine. Okay, this is gonna be a bloody battle. But I think we can win this. Okay, leader trait gained. Strict drill master. Alright, we'll now then be pushing to this. Let's see what we have here then. Improvements in land tech. Troll minorities demand re re representation. The troll minorities in the province of Dignik have petitioned for greater representation for their people and more autonomy in their rights and actions granted. Trolls. Um, Alright. Grant tolerance of the trolls. We want a better in, in, uh, sort of uh, intertwined society. One which counts for all peoples. Let's send you down here. And we'll give you this guy. Thargus Thunderaxe. No, you should have this one here. Because you need a grid axe. And Thunderaxe will go here. And we can't have any more troops at this point, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're, good. we're maxed out on the troops. I mean, go here. Alright. King's Rock. stay here. Alright, come here. Hopefully this colony is fine. We can maybe take this and then head back. Treasure map. An eccentric prospector has approached us with the map he claims will lead us to a vast trove of mithril gems and ancient dwarven artifacts. The map itself is crude, almost childlike, with a dashed line looping around pictograms of spike pits, waterfalls, and even a dragon ending with a big red X. While the prospector's appearance and demeanor does not inspire confidence, our chief surveyor points out a section resembling a cavern we have just started to map. Nodding eagerly, the prospector asks for nominal upfront fee. The end of... until the end of the game. Alright, well, I mean... Let's give it a go, see how it see how it plays out. Which one was that? What did we just pay for? Nope. That was that was a that was a big nope on our end. Whoops. Bummer. Okay. We'll have to take out some loans then to, re to deal with that, but that's okay. Alright, this should fall rather quickly too, and then we can head back up to our colony to ensure that it's safe. Uh, they may even try to push with their troops up this way. Which wouldn't, you know, it's not the end of the world if they choose to do that. We still need some more infantry here. Okay, yes, okay, making progress on that. We're gonna wait. Aha, yes, they are indeed pushing this this way. I thought they might. Um, I 
am a little... Go to... Ah, uh, that would be down here. Okay. Ooh, no, we didn't have a commander here. Alright. We'll scare you off with our... Military here. Okay, we're doing fine here still. Okay. We're able to crush them quite easily. But let's just make sure that you have somebody here. That's good. Okay. And we could probably just march over here, and that's fine too. Okay. We can probably take this. We should probably take as much of this as possible. And reclaim some of these. Warp roads. Can we, can we fight this? I don't know. 100 population in World Run 18, okay. This may not be something that we can fight. And then the native uprising, okay. Okay. This is fine. You know, they're being held up here. We've got iron in Dwarf of Road 18. And this is going to fall here shortly. And then we'll just come crush them here. Serpent Smite. Is this the end? The mountains themselves seem to roar with rage as an earthquake unlike any seen in living memory shakes our hold to its very core. Great cracks form in the rock, swallowing buildings whole and rubble falls from above, shattering structures and burying citizens alive. For a full hour the quake continues, reaping even more damage as the seconds go by, and then just as suddenly as it began it ceases. The damage is immense, and many of our resources are taken up simply keeping our hold in one piece. Now, however, a choice lies be before us. This great quake, which split open the core of our hold, has revealed many precious minerals that were previously undiscovered. Due, the, due to the unstable nature of the fissures, access to these minerals will likely be short-lived. We could devote effort to harvesting these resources, but this could would surely take away from the efforts to rescue and treat survivors. Um, the wounded must be cared for. Uh, loses stability. This is fine. A drop in stability. What have we here, then? Iron. Iron it is. Alright, and this will fall soon. Keep fighting the natives here. Come on, we really need this to fall. Trading fungi, land attrition is reduced, okay. Um, let's take two, uh, let's take these two. And come down here and take this. I don't think there's a castle here, or a fortress. Alright, come on. 42%. Alright, that shouldn't take too much longer. Trading in fungi. Oh no. Our men are sacrifi sacrificing. We're sacrificing a lot of men here. A 
What's wrong? All right. Um, beautiful cavern. Upon first inspection, the cavern appears to be like any other, a small opening within the mountain filled with ra air rather than than earth, but only upon first inspection. For once you enter for once you enter the cavern, its truly wondrous properties become apparent. The walls seem to be entirely encrusted with crystals. When light is shown upon them, they reflect light in such a way as to create a complex tapestry of light, winding, twirling, and shifting as the light sources move. This may be the closest we ever get to true beauty. Until the end of the game. Splendor. Absolutely. That's huge. We're gaining additional splendor now. Beautiful underground caverns. We've almost converted ten provinces. Okay. No, come here. this up the trial my most noble grand mayor our eldest son is on trial for corruption and bribery there is no doubt that the charges are true the conviction of your eldest son would be a serious personal blow to you on the other hand we could of course interfere in the trial and secure his innocence that's fine yeah that's fine let's secure the innocence Get a little corruption. We'll quickly get rid of that in a few years. Which one is this? Okay, it has iron on it. Okay. You'll take that tunnel, but that's fine. Let this fall. Yes. And we push into here. Adventurers defeat bandits. For many adventurers, before they go off to fight dragons and all sorts of monsters, they first cut their teeth dealing with bandits. And it seems today is the day that that has happened for Big Nick. Defeated and broken, the bandits of Big Nick are no more. Level up. Gain three prestige. Cool. And we march on... Hall of the Ancestors, where we're going to take out these guys. We should easily crush them, though right now it's definitely proving much harder than initially expected. Natives have adopted Dagrite Dwarf culture. Alright, uh, let's bring you up here. on these guys. Minus 3.8. Alright, and then push you up here. Okay, and we're at 61. We're definitely taking this. We're definitely taking this. I think we've got Native Uprising here. Okay. Um, you can't... Okay, you're already going over here. Okay. I think we can get there in time. And that beard is back. There's minimal devastation there. Alright. Continue moving up that way. Oh, 
Okay. Let's keep going against the enemy here, the natives. way um yeah there we go okay um all right we'll come march over here then and we're still gaining money here Just you can use this guy. Okay, and then we'll grab you. Um Okay, let's push you out this way, because I don't know where that military went off to. Okay, yeah, they did go that way. Um, let's send you down here. We'll do this. Uh, yeah, why don't you come down? here. Alright, yeah, let's take this. No, you wouldn't let me. Okay. Goblin refugees from Mithril, Mithril Arm Cartel. Uh, let them in. 50% chance of one base production. Ah, uh, bummer. No. Okay. Should be able to take that. cannons. Don't have a ton of manpower, I'm assuming, at this point. Okay. No. Alright, let's move here. ton of land here. Our colonies are doing good. Shoot, and they've expanded into here. 
Um, let's go ahead and send a... Send warning. Build a spy network here. And do you have allies? I guess that's another question, isn't it? Declare war. No. You're easy to crush. Okay. Let's first finish this up. Take as much of this land as we can. I have no diplomats to send. Alright, let's just go here to the Lamb Hills. soon. Alright, I'm here. Military laborers. Though many are willing to work to construct our great hold, there are limited numbers of those willing to work. Yet it seems that we have a vast untapped labor supply in the form of an army. Our using military personnel for construction would certainly help the process, but our generals worry about the impact this move would have on our military readiness. Um... Yeah, no, that's fine. That's not a problem at all. Seven years. Okay. That's not a problem at all. We are very good right now in terms of our military. And we can use some of them to, to help out with the construction. We've just taken out one of our larger rivals here. Yeah, so we're gonna want this. Um, ultimately, we want to also have them humiliated. Um, and then, I mean, I don't know, maybe take a little bit of money. Or just more land, right? Um, that's always... I mean, I don't know, there isn't really much more land that we can take. Everything else is too much. Alright, Serpent Vale. Here. This will fall shortly. I mean, they're almost done here. We could potentially finish this colony, start settling this, and then have access to these two things as well. Maybe. Uh, I do want to humiliate. I think getting some more power projection would be good. I mean, this will this war will give us power projection anyways. Okay, and let's wrap up here. can just wait a little bit longer. I mean, we're so close. We're so close. <clears throat> Alright, now I bet you we're close to this as well. Yeah. The Siege Breakers, Occupied Royal Terrace. Alright. Let's bring you all up this way as well. Alright, come on, let's let's wrap this up here.
Okay. Let's just wait a few more months then. Skewer Drake. Dagnan Rods went up by one, the base tax. Okay, three, two, three here. And our colony is self sustaining. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and send here. Let's see what, how this looks, or how this works. Okay, that's fine. We'll push you into here now. Fight them. Okay. Okay, there is a call for peace, and we want to do peace. Okay. Um, we don't need this. I'd rather have this. Yes. We have access here. Um, we don't really have access through this yet, but we'll get it one day. For now, we'll take the coins, send demands. The orcs of Amuldhir have made, built a massive pile of trophies, gold, and other valuables in what was once their throne room. Time to do something about it. Move this junk out of the way. Shattered crown. Okay, yes, we have peace. We've humiliated our rival. And we have war, uh, we have peace in our nation. We have corruption going up. You can't consider us a rival any longer. Uh, we need to pour a lot. We Let's go ahead and do... Six. Okay, that seems good. Um, we can get new troops, ram seal chargers, and let's do the culverin. We have, we need cores here. Let's do that. Core everything. Our faith here is almost good. We'll be able to get another tech here soon enough. Okay. 772 coins. Where did we get this from? Mm-hmm. 11. Okay, let's do that. Do, uh, can we get any workshops anywhere worth anything? 0.7 here. So 0.8 up here. Workshops here and here. And then marketplaces. Let's see, 0.5 here. And eh, nothing's really jumping out at me. Yep, no, we're good for right now. Um, and then... Let's see, what is the progress here? Six more years, about. Yeah, it's slightly less than five years and eleven months, then. Um, and then... Okay, you are black flagged. We, it would be great to have you here. All right, and let's pay this, repay this loan. Okay, and then let's go ahead and reduce our inflation. All right. Let's see, advisor maintenance. Building things here if we wanted. Um, what about decisions? The hands of Shaz stood here, somewhere in West Serpent Spine. It's 
the native uprising go to? Uh huh. Yes, we should easily crush them. Okay, good. Tell us new drap uh, draperies. Okay, price of wool has reduced. That's not great. We have some of that. All right. Um, and here we can go ahead and. Begin fabricating claims. Oh, no. Um, okay, yeah, this is also a... Just a territory for now. Okay. Dwarvorod 18 is under attack. That's down here. Yes, again, we should easily crush them. Um, here, we do not yet have... Bruce, but we'll be able to gra grab a little bit more land here at some point. Um, I want you to come down here, please. And we can get this next diplomatic tech. So that gives us trade range, trade efficiency, global settler increase. That's great. Okay. And then two ships, which, you know, you know how the dwarves are about ships and how they feel about that. Alright, with that, I'm gonna end this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the, in the comments below, and we'll catch up soon. Take care. Bye.